Alright, hey what's guys, Puberty here. Welcome back to the New Account Experience. This is episode 7. Uh, when we last left off, we, uh, well, we kind of got fucked to treasure a cum sock. Uh, so I guess it's priest time. Uh, right off the bat, uh, please note the larger resolution. Uh, I, I normally pay the default resolution. Uh, higher ones tend to give me frame lag. Uh, this works pretty well still. Um, so I'm gonna use it. The only thing that I really don't tolerate about it is the black borders around the edge. They're distracting as shit for me. Um, it's pretty hard for me to concentrate and see those at the same time. Uh, they tend to draw my vision away. I'm getting used to it. I've been playing with it pretty much all day. Um, so I'm kind of getting used to it. It's getting better. Uh, I'm just getting a little more time with it. Hopefully this will help us with, um, I don't really see many practical applications for it. Honestly, besides Celestial because I'm too used to dodging most things anyways like this. Um, but really, I haven't done much with it. Um, I haven't... I just started a Paladin PPE earlier today. At the, at the end of Episode 6, I talked about starting a Priest PPE, and then almost immediately after, I reevaluated that, because I don't want to run two accounts with Priests on them, because I want to go into this... Se I forgot my pet. Um, I want to go into this series with as much enthusiasm as I can for each individual character. Um, so I don't want to ha- I don't want to be like, you know, where's our actual pet? Which one is our actual pet? Um, it's an uncommon turtle? Oh shit, it's been a while since I've been on this account. So I don't really remember what we're looking for here. I know it's uncommon at the very least. Um, I think? I think we're booling with uncommon. Are we? I'm gonna. I yeah, we are, cause we had 14 in our pet. I'll be right back. Found it. It's a chameleon. All right. <laughs> yeah. So I want to go into this account for every character, ready to go. If I'm like halfway through a priest PP and I'm just starting like you know halls, I'm not gonna want to restart in this account. That's just going to be terrible. Um, so, I don't know. I need more practice with O3. Uh, and basically, what I'm doing for my main account right now, until I get better at it, is borderline making throwaway characters. I don't... I've... I, um... Oh, my Realmite doesn't show it. Realmite's kind of fucked. But uh, I've got a load of, like, just characters with a load of PPE loot. Um, not anything that I'd really... I would, I, me personally would care about losing because I don't, I do, I only do PPEs. As I mentioned before, if you see me in the realm, it is a PPE. Just, just saying this now, because I get so many PMs asking if it's a PPE. Yes, it's a PPE. <laughs> um, so I've basically got a uh, mystic with the full phylactery ST set. I have a conflict on it that I got from the night PPE, Vada Unity, and I don't remember what ring. Uh, Aliens would be useful if we weren't so low level. Um, yeah, it's 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 a good character. I'm I really like it, but I'm never gonna play on it. It's like base level twenty because I just drank a level twenty potion on it that I got from some event or whatever. But I don't really care about it. It it I only do PPEs. That really sucks because every single goddamn tiered PPE I've done hasn't gotten one of those. So yeah, uh, basically I'd have to, and I I I don't really care about maxing that. I might as well just like because if I do if I do O three on a basically a throwaway PPE and I get something good then it's a normal PPE and I get to upload it and then it's a video and that's fun so I'm basically I'm that that's what I'm doing on my main account really right now I'm just trying to get paladins because I need practice for O3 mainly for this account honestly archer that brings up a good topic um I've mentioned this before and I've decided to maybe look into streaming some of this series not a lot they would not happen frequently um, but I need for characters like Assassin, or Archer, or Rogue, or Trickster, or basically all the high attack characters. I I can't keep doing montage episodes. That's going to drive me batshit and it's not interesting because I end up repeating myself a lot because I've been sitting there for five hours. And I don't remember what I've said. So the plan is, is that is, I'm, I might end up, I'm not going to stream major things. I'm not going to stream halls. I don't plan on... I might do Shatters or Fungals on stream. But the main thing is all the in-between stuff. Like maxing attack, maxing speed for those classes that need high speed. 
I, I, I want to get that out of the way in a way that it doesn't take up an episode, but you guys still get something out of it. So if we get anything valuable, um, I might just end up uh, putting, like, I'll, I'll probably, I'm, I'm new to Twitch, so I might have some of the people who watch it, if people watch it, I might have them help me with highlights, that's terrifying, no thank you, um, and just have them kind of make highlights. And then what I'll do is next episode, at the beginning of the episode, I'll be like, hey, this is what you missed, go check out the highlights, and then come back to this episode. And I don't want to end up streaming something like Halls, because if I get, like, Omni Void Bow on Huntress, you know, that's too much. And I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want it to be just such a sudden jarring jump. We might end up going up, like, a few tiers, we might end up getting some tops, but I don't want it to be anything, like, actually major. Because grand scheme of things, going from a T11 to a T12 bow is, uh, not much. Um, this character is different. I'm going to be a little bit ambitious with Priest and say by the end of episode I'm saying this now this is most likely not gonna happen by the end of episode maybe two or three that's shit your pants terrifying go away um by the end of that either two or three we're ready for halls that's kind of the goal um priest normally doesn't need too much to max your speed you're like maybe 10 to max every single goddamn time attack is normally Maybe mid to high teens, early 20s, depending on your roll. Dex can be either really good or really bad. Um, we're hoping for a good roll. All this depends on our roll. I don't want... The problem with that, though, is I don't want new players to miss out on that. Because I've had people say that this series has been really informative for them. So I want people to... I want newer players to still get something out of this. Um, so it's going to be similar to a montage style... But I'm going to lay out my entire plan for at the beginning of the episode. Uh, it's basically just going to be labs and puppets and manners. I want Puri. I want Puri early. I don't want to have to go back for Puri um, for Earth 3. We, more accurately, I don't plan on <laughs> going back for Puri. Um, because... I don't know, man. It takes too long. My Puri looks pretty bad. If the character ends up being really good... And I go for like what I call standard completion, which basically means every item available for the character. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to go for is period. Uh, it's valuable, but uh, I don't want to bog down too much of my time with trying to get it. Um, we might do Calvrick, but we're probably going to... No, we're going to die. We're going to die. Um, I would like to do the aliens, though, but again, we'll die. Uh, honestly, I would go for yellow over blue. Blue is, in my opinion, a waste of time. For one, you barely complete it like you complete it maybe like 10% of the time and two and more controversial snow blind wand looks like shit I'm a very aesthetically oriented player uh, and snow blind wand the reskin fallen if you didn't know looks terrible I I despise it it, it looks like shit I know there are probably gonna be people out there who are like ah oh, Matt you're a fucking asshole my favorite wand but to me personally I don't like it that's a laser wand over there I think yeah I kinda wanna go get that Hell yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so aliens. What's that about, you know? Uh, no, no thank you. I don't really want this. Hey, accuracy. I know this guy. Uh, I was doing a night UP, the night UP, actually, and he was running snake pits with me to get bulwark on his priest PPE. Having him call the snake pits was such a fucking lifesaver because I'm personally pretty bad at finding snake pits. My luck is uh, pretty trash when I need, when I actually need them. I never find them. Uh, I still want to hit level 20 by the end of this episode, so I should probably pick up the pace. Uh, we got about 20 minutes left. I also want to get a kind of a decent way through. Um, maybe get some more gear. We'll see. Something I've wanted to mention for a little while, and I think this would be a good time to mention it because this is how I actually like reach an audience, is um, the spam system. Because check this out. Once I can get into a safe space. I'm going to laugh my ass off if they fix this. Chat not sent due to filtered phrase. There are so many good applications for this. There are so many different ways you can make this good. There are so many good applications for this. It, it's it like honestly for light profanity, whatever. But heavier profanity, people using slurs. I don't know if they actually use it for slurs. I don't really want to test that. Um, I don't. I'm not really sure. Normally, when I see people saying slurs, I just block them. Which could probably, you know, cuck me in the, it could cuck me in the future because, like, they call a room and, like, a Davy when I'm on, like, a melee PP or whatever and I don't get an enable. Um, but honestly, to me, that's worth it. 
like whatever man if you're gonna be awful then I don't want to see it uh, it's shadow muting I do have loads of problems with shadow muting like uh, that that's just not useful it's whatever but that that system for chat filter has enormous potential to be really beneficial to the community it blocks out a lot of you know homophobic and racial slurs and I think that would be a really good opportunity for them to make the community just a little bit better um, other things that it could do would be to change that steam trailer but we're not gonna talk about that because everybody knows about that so I think yeah so something something someone mentioned a comment I got which I thought was a really interesting thing to address we're just addressing all sorts of shit in this episode the first episode of every character is normally pretty slow uh, I, that's how I plan to take it. First episode, we hit level 20, and we talk about general... I don't know, just generally how things are going with the character, events going on in the game, things like that. And then the second episode, second and third episodes, like, alright, we're gonna get into this. And then fourth episode is either last-minute things for halls, or halls themselves, or shadows, fungals, or nests, depending on what we do first. I just say halls first, because that's what I'm used to doing. But keep in mind, when I say halls, I mean all those Discord dungeons, all four of them. Um... Yeah, so another thing I wanted to mention is something someone said, and I think I think it would be good for me to address this. Um, the comment basically- uh, I love how the comment started. Uh, basically something along the lines of, get a load of this dude's ego. And he made a very valid point. Uh, it, which was basically how I talk about this, is I was talking about when I hadn't even done halls yet, I was talking about doing 03 to get superior. Um, and his concern, which I think is justified, is the fact that I'll take the defense ring. Um, is the fact that I'm sitting here talking about getting an end game weapon from the hardest dungeon in the game, uh, unless you count rushing magic woods. Fuck rushing magic woods. You always get slowed and you get fucking wrecked. Um, his concern was the fact that I was just talking about it like I would get it, that it was guaranteed. I, w I didn't mention any in between steps, I didn't mention anything like that. I just said, if we get superior, that would be good. And I under that. To me, and to him especially, which is what matters more, it came off as really arrogant. And I went back through and I rewatched it. And yeah, it does. It honestly does. It's such a preposterous thing to assume that a char that for someone like me who has no experience with very limited experience with O3, and who doesn't even have a pet, that they'd be able to do Dama. Dama to me, if you don't get the instant counter, and you don't fucking frame lag like me. Um, it's generally a pretty easy fight, um, because I'm very experienced with, like, different bullet hells. I've had a lot of practice with different things like that. Celestial is a whole different thing. I'm gonna say this right off the bat, I can't do Celestial, for the life of me. Still, I'm still not good at Celestial, I don't have enough practice, I've only done, like, four or five O3s. Like, actual O3s themselves. So, that's new. But, Dama, to me, is very familiar territory. Everything moves relatively slowly and in a predictable pattern. That's my problem with Celestial. It's too fast. My brain can't keep up. Cele uh, Dama, to me, is very similar to Supreme Calamitous from Terraria. Not exactly. They're, they're different in many respects. But the shots move at relatively the same speed, and I had a lot of practice. To me, it was very familiar territory. It was something I was already dunking my little feeties in. So I went into it being like, we would probably be fine for Dama unless I really messed up. Which I probably would have. In all honesty, I would have probably died to Dama. I would have still probably messed that up, and then I would have given the same speech of, yes, we should not have died there, yes, that was stupid for me. The same speech I gave when I died to Kumsok. And that's the thing, is I say things like that. I say things like, you know, we're going to get superior, and I'm normally pretty full of myself with that, which is a very bad habit to have. It is a very bad thing for me to do, because oftentimes it doesn't work out like that. It's one of the main reasons I'm, that, oh, that sucks. It's one of the main reasons I'm very dissatisfied with my characters, is because that is my playstyle. That's how I've played this game, and that's what I've quite literally conditioned myself to believe about this game. Because I've done PPEs for two, coming on three years now, which is kind of insane. Maybe already three, I don't really remember when the first ones came out. And over time, as I mentioned before, my standards have grown higher and higher. So I've expected more, which is a very unhealthy way to do this. It is stupid. But it's just how I've conditioned myself to play this game. And it's hard for me to get out of that, because it's something I've done for two to three years. The point where I can't play normal characters. Like, once a PPE gets past a certain point, I'm like, well, what now? That's always the question on my mind when I'm playing characters. What now? And it's caused me to have that sort of mindset of skipping right to the end. Half the time I won't play certain characters because it's like, no, I don't like the look of the end set. 
and NSETs have grown higher and higher. When PPEs first started, NSET was like full tops and like pyro or whatever, you know. Now, for me, NSET is like for Paladin? The N set that I normally think about when I'm like, yeah, I would love this, you know, that would be really solid, is Divinity Invocation, the T7 seal, uh, <sighs> Gladiator Guard, and either Mad God, Horn, Omni, or Crown. Majesty's another substitute. And that's the problem, because I'm still not good at O3, I still have only ever made it through one, and I'm sitting here saying, this is what I want, and this is what I, not what I expect, but what I would be extremely happy with. I don't ever go into these characters expecting to end up with a set like that. I don't ever expect it because of how new I am to this. I'm just saying that would make me, that would be to me an incredible PPE. Even just getting, like I've talked about it with my guildmates, even just getting one O3 item that I can use for the character merits an upload because of how new I am to it. That's where I'm at right now uh, for normal PPEs. Uh, there are exceptions obviously. Um, 30 attack at level 16 is terrifying. I'm not going to do the last boss. I just want to kind of accelerate things here. Uh, that's where I'm at right now um, with normal characters. For this account, this account is wildly different. I don't have to worry about upload. I have to worry about 2k, which to me, 8 8 and 2k on my main account is something I brush over. 10k is like, all right, that's kind of dope. 5k is pretty dope too. But it's so nice. It's such a, this account is a breath of fresh air for me. It is so wildly different than how I'm used to playing, and I need to adapt to that. And it's a problem. I'm going to continuously mention things like Chaotic Scripture. I went into this. I sat down thinking, boy, I'm going to be really psyched if I get Chaotic Scripture, because I've gotten pretty good at Archbishop LaCroix, because I don't inter-rotate because I'm a little bitch. Um, but because I know that that works. It is kind of being a little bit of an asshole with leeching, but... Um, you know, I, I still need to get the basics down, and then I'll eventually full ro inner rotate. I have inner rotated once or twice for Archbishop LaCroix. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about this. It's just one of his phases. Uh, you'll see it if we do Archbishop LaCroix. Uh, class course completed. Hey, six stars. Uh, yeah, so... I, I Like, this account is really refreshing for me, because I don't have to worry about that. Like, once I hit 2k in 8-8... Then it's like, okay, it's time to go for Ritual Robe and, and uh, fucking O3. I might do O3 a little earlier on this character, but I'm not sure yet. It depends on how things go. Priest is a pretty easy max. We, I might just 8-8 this thing entirely. Um, I just hate halls. You don't get anything from them anymore, really. My luck is really bad. I'm incredibly salty about halls. My entire guild despises them. Um, they're worthless, really. In my opinion, they are worthless because my luck is too bad and it doesn't merit it. You don't get the weapons from them, you're more likely to get the tops from the O3 mini bosses. Far, far more likely. Um, I don't know, like, like rich, obviously uh, Halls has its items that make it unique, but to me it's not worth it if I'm gonna be spending 20 episodes going for an Omni when I could just get uh, something of equal substitute. Honestly, UBHP would be a pretty solid option for this character, for this account, because we don't have a pet. That's a sh avatar. I don't really think I care. So, in a nutshell, this is a really long-winded way of saying, yeah, to, if that guy still watches this series, I'm not really sure. That might have been like the, all right, I don't want to want to watch this because he's unsympathetic as hell. Uh, and to anybody who's had that sort of concern about this series, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. It is an issue with my play style. Um, I know this is probably the same realm we were just in. Yeah, fuck. Um... It's just, it's become habitual. It's become my sense of play. And I'm going to mention that. Necrom- What? Wizard and Priest? Dope. 22 life to max. <laughs> 13 mana! Oh, uh, 13 attacks, pretty solid. 31. 31? 31 dex. 30 fucking 1 dexterity. I didn't know that could go that low. I didn't- Hmm, that throws a wrench in the plan. Avatar's been defeated. I don't think we care about the Shatters. That makes things complicated. Um, next episode's gonna be a dex montage then, I guess, with attack thrown in. So I think next episode's gonna be, I'm gonna try and grind out some decks uh, at the end of this one. But yeah, basically the point I'm trying to get across is I'm gonna keep mentioning things like that. Like, I'm gonna keep mentioning things like Chaotic Scripture, or, I don't know, Lumaire, Evocation. 
I don't really know what else really. Um, I'm gonna keep saying things like that because to me it's it gives me a reachable goal. It gives me something that I can work toward and something I could probably end up getting if I'm persistent enough and if I am uh, skilled enough actually really that's the big thing. Um, it's something I could genuinely feasibly get on this character depending on luck unless we keep getting cum sock and then we're screwed. Um, it, it could happen. It really it could just depending on how if I play my cards right and that that's what this all kind of depends on um, so I don't know it's not I, I keep in mind I don't believe I'm gonna I don't th I, there's a very strong doubt that I'm gonna get any of that my goal is really just 8-8 eight, eight, and 2k not even really 8-8 eight, eight, as you saw by the last character just 2k enough to the point where if, when we die it's like yeah solid we had some fun now we need to move on to the next character and see if we can get it better Ideally, I want every character to be better than the last. That is not going to happen. When I did Yard Sale, that was not true at all. Yard Sale is the very first NAE. No. My very best character was Huntress. Huntress became an actual upload. Nowadays, it probably wouldn't be. But back then, Huntress wasn't. that Huntress was an upload. The video's probably still on the channel. Uh, the Samurai was, but that's just because it was the last character until White Star. That Samurai wouldn't have been an upload even back then. Uh, yeah. Um, this character, this account isn't like that. I, if we get all the way through, there's going to be a, ma there might be a mega montage at the end where I edit this all down into basically one big block of 16 PPE videos all at once. There's not going to be, I don't think there's really going to be any crazy effects with it. I think it's just going to be simply music over footage because, I, that's too much. <laughs> um, that's kind of the plan. I hope we get to that point. I really do want to complete this account. My worry is just that other people and myself are gonna get I want him to kill that soulless scribe because it scares me Nah, I'm too good at this haha <laughs> um, yeah that's kinda the goal just to get something good um, we'll see my goal for this series holistically is for someone to make a montage of me being stupid that is the that's when I know I've succeeded as a person when I get someone sending me a video on Discord called titled something like I don't know like a lot of montages for like different YouTubers have like basically the same thing of like blank being chaotic for like blank minutes straight right that would be dope I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know anyone who would do that I wouldn't even do that but um I think that would be pretty funny um <laughs> Because I'm sure there are bountiful moments where people are just kind of, you know, slam their heads into their keyboards or their phones or whatever. Because I don't blame them. I make a lot of pretty stupid choices, and that's kind of that's kind of what I like about this series. Is uh, unlike most like PPE videos, you actually get to see just how many bad choices go into every single one of these videos, uh, and I think it's a really good thing to laugh to be able to laugh at yourself. And uh, if nobody else goes on the sprite roll with me, we're gonna have some problems. I think it's pretty good to be able to laugh at yourself, and uh, I think it's important. Uh, yes, he's gonna do all the work for me. I think it's pretty good to be able to do that. It, you, I don't think anybody should really take themselves too seriously. Uh, there's a difference between that and like you know not believing in yourself, but I think that it's a really admirable trait for people people to be able to look at something that they've done, acknowledge that it was stupid, and laugh it off and be like, all right. So, I've learned from this, and I've seen that, you know, it wasn't the brightest move. I think that's really good. Uh, I don't know. That's basically that. Basically, TLDR, you're going to see a lot of really stupid choices from uh, yours truly. So, uh, I don't know. Buckle up. Fucking go down to 30 to max. Christ. Um, yeah, that's not very pleasant. Next episode, episode 2... Yeah, we're not going to be halls ready by the end of episode 2, by the way, if that wasn't abundantly obvious. Unless we, you know, go kind of fucking nuts with it, but uh, I don't think I will. Uh, we'll see. Um, maybe by the end of episode 3. At least by the end of episode 2, I want to be... I'm going to really regret saying this, but max decks. We're going to be drinking 30... Drinking 30 decks is a fuck ton easier than drinking 30 attack, though. I want to make that clear. Lab, I care about that. Um, I'm gonna call even if it'll do fuck all. It's blinking. Of course, I hate this game. <laughs> yeah, drinking 30 decks is a lot easier than drinking 30 attack. Um, please let these people be able to carry me through it. 
person, I think we're just gonna bail. Yeah. Um, so it is more plausible than the suffering we endured going through. I don't know why I even tried that. I'd, wait, why am I going on this? There's probably gonna be no one in here. Let's fucking go. We're big brain. Um, it'll hopefully be easier. That's kind of nasty. I really hope that's a UPE. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. 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 <laughs> this is going to suck. Fun fact, you all. There are always five rooms between boss and spawn in a snake pit. If you want to know how to make this a lot easier on yourself, count those rooms because you could easily be going the wrong way if you see five and you're knowing your boss. Turn. Ah, uh, no! That's honestly fucking awful. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, if we got bulwark early, that would have been pretty fucking. Pl it's feed power. It's six hundred fucking feed power. Yeah, um, I need people to do sprites with me. I need people to do sprites with me. We can't do sprites. That really sucks. That's a low, that is a low blow. That, yeah, Bulwark realistically ha doesn't have too many uses for us. I'm pretty good at using Bulwark. I've done like two or three Bulwark only PPEs. I uploaded my very first one a long time ago. It wasn't very good. Um, but I've gotten better at it. This is actually not even worth it because this guy, he'll drop me an attack, but I'm going to fucking die. If you won't even draw me an attack, get fucking friend zone, Matt, honestly. Second like shit. <laughs> yeah, um. I, I, I'm not comfortable using it on this account. We're gonna get nothing. I'm not comfortable using it on this account because you have to get pretty close to things. It's actually surprisingly good for some of Marble Colossus' phases. It works pretty well for some of them, much better than you'd expect. Um, with that emotional waffle stomp, I think we're gonna end this up. This, uh, we're on seven left, you know what? We're gonna, we're just gonna be right back. We're just gonna jump cut to the lines, to the orcs, because whatever. Um, yeah, we managed to get our decks down in the meantime to something approaching normalcy. Um, yeah, not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, next episode will be all decks and maybe some more stuff. It's really fucking hard to uh, call sprites when you don't know how many people can see what you're saying. Uh, that's something we just learned over the course of these last two characters. Yeah, um, we're doing alright. It doesn't show some completions on here. Uh, does it show the magic woods I did? I think it has to, it updates a little wonkily. I did one magic woods. Um, it doesn't show puppets at all. I think it's because there's a mislabeling here. I'm pretty sure the actual dungeon is called Puppet Master Theater, not THE Puppet Master Theater. Either way, this doesn't show up, which led to one individual accusing me of faking the new account experience in episode 4 because of this. Uh, because when I scrolled through Shatters in episode 5, you see that there are zero Puppet Master completes. So he accused me of faking it. Um, I have footage, I think, of myself doing puppets. And there's no way that value could be zero. So I'm not really sure. Um, kind of a pleasant little accusation to get. Yay? I don't really know. Um, I don't really get accusations or generally negative comments on these. I get quite a few on my like actual PP videos. But that's to be expected. But the, rare, the unfriendly comments or the people being like oh you suck are generally few and far between which is why i really like to take note of them because it's like yay you know it's it's good to see it's it's nice to see that people aren't all happy with it it's nice to see that people generally do notice things like that and do want to point them out even if they don't do it in the friendliest of ways it's still like hey you you pay attention you're pretty observant um even if it is something that's kind of inconvenient because it's like no it's a, it's something I gotta now explain and be like, no, it's just a, not a miscommunication. I don't really know. Uh, there was a word there and I, I just blanked. That's nice. <laughs> Commentary, by the way. Um, yeah, it, it's nice to see that he was really observant about it, which is something, it's a positive that we can take from the fact that he accused me of cheating because of a glitch. Um, but realistically, I don't think there's any way that he would have known that that's a glitch. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do the wine cell at the end of this. Um, we're just gonna die. Though if we do die, we might get a better roll, but we do lose out on 800 feet power. So uh, I don't think we do the wine cellar. 
Um, we might also get a worse roll. So, you know, who knows. I should probably be killing this thing. I need the ring, realistically, more than I need anointed right now. Anointed's... Well, I think they're pretty equal, but, um... I don't know, I think the ring would be nice. Because I'm not going to get anointed, because I never get anointed from the statues. Um, the ring... My luck's also pretty bad with it, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get it. I did get it on the... Wizard, that's what it's called. I was going to say the priest. Uh, a little bit of a juice brain right now. Um, I did get it on the wizard, but I never get it on priest. Oh, sucks to be those two. Um, yeah, the guardian died right over the portal, but I wouldn't... I would... I wouldn't, I wouldn't swoop in to get my loot. I would get it as soon as the first one dies while the second one's still charging up there. Uh, sucks to be them, though. Hopefully they didn't have anything terribly good. Uh, bleh. <laughs> oh, well. It's, I mean, oh one's still fame. It's still, it's still a decent amount of fame. Uh, you could also just mouse over your bag. I don't really know. Oh, well. Oh, sign bag? Fuck! Wait, why did I take that? Hmm. I mean, honestly, I'm not really a fan of the um i think my quest might be door one to oh i need to stack up on orcs marks because of the event that's coming up that gives you six st shards per one st chests are more valuable in this account than they are on my main because on this account they're uh regardless of what they are they're feed power unless it's something real shit but i don't think anything can be that shit that it's something i wouldn't even consider to be feed power that kind of sucks maybe we do do the wine cellar uh 45 people if they pop right now, we're gonna no balls it. No balls, no balls, no balls, we're doing the wine cellar. Um, this is a bad idea. Um, yeah, SC chests can also give us feed power, uh, even if we don't get anything good from the character. Oh, I forgot Abomination's Wrath doesn't drop from that anymore. I was about to say if we got a bomb, um, Though we could get Thurgy or Magic Wand. Magic Wand's still pretty solid. That should have killed me. Uh, I have no idea why it didn't. Uh, that could have too. That was pretty stupid. Um, pro tip for wine cellars. Look at the map, not your character. Always see where things are on the map. I don't look at my character when I'm running. If I'm on a low defense character, it's pretty hard because I tend to materialize around corners, so you can get cucked pretty easily there. But if you want to get good at wine, rushing wine cellars on low level characters like this, look at your map. Your character will not matter because uh, by the time... You don't need to look at what's in front of you, or you don't need to look at what's on you, you need to look at what's in front of you, because by the time it's on your character, hopefully it'll be away from you. 40 speed's a pretty good number to do uh, wine cells comfortably with, but you can still do it with like lower, like 35 or something. Um, that was, yeah, that was a little bit of a tight squeeze. That is two. Uh, he's about to hit half health. There we go. Running can be pretty bad, but uh, maybe not. Um, we'll see. Uh, this is a bit of a longer episode. This is actually a pretty damn long episode. Um, yeah. Uh, run time for these episodes is wildly inconsistent. If that isn't abundantly clear, uh, up to this point, it is now. These are never going to be consistent. It just, it honestly depends on how much time I have. And I wish I could supply some sort of consistency. I genuinely do. It's probably pretty annoying to wait three days to get a 15 minute video. Um, it depends on what we're doing realistically. Something like this where we're just realm farming isn't going to be really dense and it's going to have a lot of like probably runtime. Honestly though, episode 6 was 40 minutes but that was nearly 10 hours of work that went into that. Um, episode 6 was quite a lot and I talked a lot uh, which is what I learned from episode 5 because episode 5 was really short because I did virtually no talking and a lot of stuff was really redundant so I went into episode 6 being like okay we got a lot to say because it's halls you generally I tend to have a lot more to say during halls that really sucks that was not worth it um yeah oh well uh it's still something I guess we're gonna pop the pet egg and get heal magic heal electric um <laughs> and then we'll vault this um I'm pretty sure our quest was Dewar Warden anyways um we'll see if we get heal, when we if we if, if we get heal magic heal, that's when we can finally start feeding shit. Uh, what do we got? Brown pup. Heal decoy attack far. Is that one of the ones we already had? Did we not? Did we already have a brown pup? No, the game just hates me. All right. Apparently, heal magic heal electric or heal magic heal is just off the fucking board. Um. Whatever. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next episode is going to be more grueling. Hopefully we'll be somewhere close to Hall's Rex. 
uh, yeah, pretty good start to the priest. Uh, Pungy was a bit of a waffle stomp, but it's still feed power, so fuck it. Uh, we got a really good thing going for us right now. Uh, we got a lot of shit to feed if we ever get a good pet. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.